No, I know the old one gets a bad rap, but I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping Jeremy Irons would come back in this movie. Good. I can use every ounce of your rage. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I'm actually just kind of genuinely impressed by this movie. Not just in terms of how the film is, it's actually a pretty decent movie, but also who made it. One of the directors slash writers is one of the nerdy kids from Bones. Bones! Talk about like going up. Apparently he's actually been doing this for a little while. They directed the Vacation remake, which I know wasn't very good, but they also were um writers for spider-man homecoming and this is clearly something that's made by people who enjoy what D, D is they actually know the assignment and they have some experience almost all of that was missing from the original film Brain from that one was made by someone who actually did enjoy D, &D but had absolutely no fucking clue how to make a movie if you actually want to watch a really cool deep dive on it I would suggest watching the Mr. Sunday Movies video talking about the Dungeons and Dragons movie from 2000. It was, the whole story is far more interesting than the movie itself. On that note, I actually also have to admit, I've seen that movie far more times than I probably should have. Circumstances of where I was, there wasn't a lot of movie choices. This is back in VHS age. I just put it on in the background a lot of the times. I think it was because I was laughing my ass off at Jeremy Irons, which, can you blame me? <laughs> While Jeremy Irons is unfortunately not in this movie and they actually do replace a villain of his prowess with someone that's quite bare bones, if anything, very, very cookie cutter, it is the rest of the movie that actually excels. While most of these things, most of the tropes about the characters, their traits, their story progressions, Chris Pines is one you've seen a billion times at this point, is all well done. That's probably the best way to put it. The action is well done. Sure, it's not exactly the most original, but they do try. The amount of ambitious effort is astounding on certain levels. There are some really creative ideas in terms of portraying action, especially when it's like a, a character who can change into multiple different animals. And it's a seeming one shot from the top of a tower all the way out the window, down into a bakery, into the city streets and out the gate. Both inclusion of CG and real life actors. Really impressive. Same for action sequences with Michelle Rodriguez. She actually gets to have a quite a bit of a redemption arc herself in terms of the last time I saw her medieval movie was Blood Rain. Everyone's actually pretty decent in this movie. The cast is really well suited to what they're playing. It plays out kind of just like a really well made campaign. Now, to be honest, I've never actually taken part in a D&D campaign. I just don't have the patience for it. I have watched them though. There was a good period of time where my roommates were doing a campaign and I enjoyed listening to it. I was doing other things at the same time, admittedly, but I did enjoy what I was hearing, and I got that same kind of fun, that same kind of wholehearted fun experience that I could hear my friends and my roommates having. I could feel that in this film, from the action, to the strategy, to the plans, to the quests, to the dungeons, to the humor. All of it really fit. Is the movie exceptional? It's not exactly different. It's not anything standout. I just think it's a really well put together movie. I think that everything from the music to the action sequences, to the cinematography, to the acting, to the storytelling, it's not anything different, but it's well done. And that is probably the best you can expect from something like this, especially when it has the pedigree of what it had before. It does set itself up for the possibility of maybe more. It does depend on how much money it makes, which I don't know. I know it's being absolutely decimated by Mario right now. If you are a fan of D&D, I think you'll enjoy it. If you're one of those people who really likes watching those early 90s, even late 2000s, even mid 2010s fantasy movies that just had a real fun aspect to them. I know I keep saying the word fun over and over again, but that is literally the concept of this movie. You'll enjoy it. I think you will. 
I did. So in the end, I'm going to give Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves a 5 out of 7. It's actually probably one of the most surprising hits of the year for me. I didn't think it was going to be bad, I thought it was mainly going to be middling. But it exceeded my expectations. I, I'm really impressed. I really do hope that they get to make another one. I don't know if it will happen, but if it does, I'll see it. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.